Yeah, I know it's been a little while, but I gotta let them know. Yeah, gotta let them know. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. Yeah. Happy Tuesday, and welcome back to my channel. This your girl, Miss T, and I am back with another video. If you're new to this channel, hello, welcome. I hope you love it here. But while you're here, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also, like this video, be sure to share it, and do not forget to press the notification bell so you'll be notified when we have a new upload. And my family members came back to see me again. Welcome back. Y'all, we are this close to 500. Oh my gosh. We're almost to 500. Well, probably by the time this video comes out, we've probably been on here 500. I don't know. I don't know. But Lord willing, we have. We will. So, yes, today we are back with a regular vlog. Well, I won't say a regular vlog. I have some things to do today. I know uh, I have to take Kylie to the eye doctor today. But before we go to the eye doctor, I have some stuff to handle for home, you know, before we can go over there. But the first order of business is, look, I have something new. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? Your girl got new hair. Oh my gosh. When I say I was so nervous to put this wig on. Like, first of all, let's 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 back up first. Okay, so I saw this wig. This wig actually came from Amazon. Yes, it came from Amazon. So you like the same wig? I'll have it in my uh, Amazon storefront. So my Amazon storefront will be in the description box below. So I seen this wig on Amazon. I have been holding it in the cart for long, for the long, longest, y'all, because I was so afraid to try this color. Y'all know I always try to stick with the blacks and the, the dark shades of brown, things like that. However, I always want to venture out for another colors with my hair. However, I, I, I was so, I was, <laughs> I was so afraid. I was so afraid. So, how did I end up with wig? You can thank your cousin Kevin for this. My husband, he purchased this wig because he knew that I was not going to put it on my head. That I was not going to purchase it because I was afraid to buy it. However, he went down for me. <laughs> and I thank him because I am loving it, y'all. I have never had a color like this before. Never. Now, when I was younger, I used to try with different colors, but now I've gone to this little safe area. I didn't want to try it, but Cece is going outside of her comfort zone this year. So, the good thing about this whole thing is that I did it myself. Yes, I did it myself. A girl who's not a connoisseur in doing hair. I am no way, shape, form, or fashion a good hairstylist at all. I can't even braid. <laughs> However, I managed to get this done because I was actually going to pay someone to do this, but... The Lord smacked me for time my head. Like, if you don't use the hand that I gave you to accomplish this, I gave you creativity in your hands. You can do this. Also, you have been talking to me about spending money wisely on all the things that you need. Maybe some things that you want within reason. So, since when in that bathroom, y'all know I can't braid from that. So, I slicked that hair back real good. No gels or anything because my hair will itch like crazy. I, I make sure I put some leave-in conditioner in it and I just slipped it on back and everything. And sis went to work and here we are. Here we are with new hair. New hair. This is such a beautiful color. So, yes, I'm so excited to see what to try next. Since I don't step out this far, I want, I want to try other colors. I don't know. But anyway. Before we get on to our get on with our day, cause I am planning to make lasagna today. However, I won't film it as far as my YouTube video. It will be a short. Cause I need to put more shorts on my channel. I don't put as much shorts as I used to. I mainly focus on making long form content and not focus on short form content because I need some for my other platform, such as Instagram and TikTok. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram or TikTok, Go in my description box and follow me on those. Instagram, you will know me the most. I have two TikToks. I have one that I can just joke around on and then one for my lifestyle. But if you really want to get to know me more, follow me on Instagram. I put more of my personal things on Instagram. It's better than Facebook. Facebook is just me being silly or whatever. But however, if you want to know more about me, follow me on Instagram, okay? 
So before we get ready to go to the store, I got to put my shoes on and everything and put on me some smell goods, okay? We were going to read our devotion for today. And y'all know we got to leave Jesus in here somewhere. We got to plug Jesus up in here somewhere because if not, we're not going to flourish, okay? So, um... Y'all know my two devotions that I, I that I read on a daily. Both of the devotions are from Joyce Meyer. You know, the one is Wake Up With The Word. And the other one is Confident Woman. Something I'm very, I'm working very hard on. Alright, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And today is the 16th. And our word for today is safe. Safe. Alright, it means free from danger of any kind. And it reads, one of our most urgent needs in life is to be safe. Maybe you or someone you know grew up with angry, absent, or abusive parents, and even now you often don't feel safe. For many, there is a feeling of impeding doom and danger hanging over them most of the time. But God wants us to feel safe with Him. He is a loving Father, kind, forgiving, generous, long suffering, patient, patient, and faithful. God loves to make wrong things right, and he promised to do it for you. He wants you to know you are safe in his arms. If your earthly father was absent, you need to know that Father, that father God is omnipresent, meaning he's everywhere. He is everywhere at all times. You will never be anywhere that God is not with you. You can fully trust God to keep you safe. Let him replace your fear and brokenness with his peace and comfort. You are safe with him. And the Bible verse reads from Proverbs 18 and 10, which says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs to it and are safe. So know that if you're not feeling safe, you don't have anybody uh, on this earth to keep you safe or keep you grounded and thing to know that you have that type of um, place in our Heavenly Father in heaven. All right. And from Confident Woman. Um, the title for this one is called Start Enjoying You. Start Enjoying You. Start Enjoying You. Okay. And the Bible verse is coming from Exodus twenty seventeen, which said, You should not covet your neighbor's house, your neighbor's wife, or his maid, his manservant, or his maidservant, or his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor. Now, if you don't know what the word covet means, covet means pretty much one of somebody else got. Because I didn't know what that meant either long early in my years. But so to covet means to want what somebody else got. All right. Other people can be an example to us, but should never be a standard or a reason for us to covet who they are. So be yourself. We're not to be everybody else. All right. The Bible says in Romans 8:29 that we are de we are destined to be modeled into the image of Jesus Christ and share inwardly his likeness. Another scripture says that we have the mind of Christ in 1 Corinthians 2. 16. We can think, speak, and learn to behave as Jesus did, and he certainly did not ever compare himself with anyone or desire to be anything other than what his father had made him to be. He lived to do the, the father's will, not to compete with others and compare himself with them. I encourage you to be content with who you are. That does not mean that you cannot make progress and continue to improve. But when you allow the example of others to become a law, which is a rule or leg regulation, you are continually disappointed. God will never help you to be someone else. Remembering that being different is good. It is not a bad thing. Celebrate your uniqueness, uniqueness, uniqueness oh, and rejoice in the future God has planned for you. Be confident and start enjoying you. And the prayer reads, Lord, the world continually tries to conform me to be like everyone else. I thank you for making me different. Help me to be content with who I am. Amen. Y'all already know the enemy trying to, trying to trip you up and trying to talk about God. But not today. Not today. But um, going to piggyback on what that was saying. I always tell people, and it's a, it's a saying go around, uh, be you because it's too many of everybody else. Okay? Do not be on comparing your life to everybody else because you don't know what they have or what they're doing to get where they are. And also, you're priceless. You have value. Your life has value. Everything that you have that's connected to you has value. Enjoy being yourself. If there's something about you that you don't like, change it. If there's something that you want to improve on, improve it. However, be content in who you are. Because we can go out here and 
trying to be like everybody else, killing ourselves trying to be like everybody, while everybody else being themselves, being happy, and being who they are. And you, I, su- I encourage you to be who God created you to be. Don't be out trying to be like everybody else. Enough of everybody else. But it's only one you. It's only one you. Only one you can do a many things that God has already ordained for you to do. You can't do what everybody else do. Okay? I can't get on nobody else's platform and be them. I can't get on my platform and be me. Okay? And you draw people to you by being you. People love you for being you. All right. All right. That's our Jesus moment for today. We're about to head out um, to Walmart because I have some things to get for the house and everything. And plus, I want to get some lasagna stuff. I want to make lasagna today. And it's raining outside, and I don't have the umbrella to first. Thank God this hair is human hair, but I don't want it wet. So, to put on the coat. So, let me get done getting dressed, put my coat and stuff on in my shoes, and then we'll be heading out the door. It's chilly out here. Why it's so cold? It's, guys, it's January. You know, in January, January actually the coldest month. And from my understanding, I can remember January is the coldest month, and I think August is the hottest month of the year. From what I remember, I remember from the old folks they used to tell you that. But I started to see that because January is always freezing. It is, it's colder than December. January is always cold and rainy and all this and that. So yeah, January, if you remember that, remember that January is always the coldest month and August is always the hottest month of the year. What you expect to be, you expect it to be on like July or something like that to be the hottest month. It's actually, the, it's actually August. Yeah, I learned. I watched over the years and absolutely August is most definitely the hottest month of the year. So we're heading to Walmart. Um, as far as lasagna, only thing I need to get is mozzarella cheese. I have pasta sauce. Um, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, uh, the beef and the sausage to go in it. I have I have parsley because I purchased parsley from um all this. So all I gotta do is chop it up. I have cloves of garlic. So I gotta do is chop that up. Um, for so this is gonna be an exciting thing to do. I have some lasagna noodles, but they say oven ready, so I wonder if I have to boil them. I don't know. I have to go see when I go back home. So I'm trying to quickly go to the store. I have to get some um some scent bees. Cause Kevin bought laundry item, but he forgot to get the oxy. And he forgot to get the scent bee. Maybe some more fabric off that as well. I don't know, but you know, I'm gonna go pick it up. And we need to get paper plates and forks. I have went, y'all. I tried. I tried the, the no paper plate thing. However, washing out them dishes. I thank. I thank the Lord to be able to wash dishes because that let me know that my family is fed. However, my niece is not keeping up with these dishes, and I'm tired of washing. I'm tired of seeing them, so I'm just gonna get um place but um i know i won't have to be in there long because i already pretty much know what I, I need to get so it's gonna be like a quick trip so i can get back home and eat because i have salmon at home that i purchased from aldi that needs to be um cut because i haven't cut it yet it's a whole long thing of salmon because i started to get a small piece actually i started to get the frozen one from um so I get the frozen one from Walmart. However, it don't be that many pieces of um, salmon in it. So I, when I went to Aldi, I started to get a small piece. I was like, Tiffany, you might as well get the long piece so you can make multiple slices um, for more meals and things like that. So I decided to get the long one. It was like about 19 bucks. And so I'm going to go home and slice it up and put it in some freezer bags. Uh, so when I get ready to use them, I can just pull it out. So, yeah, so I'm heading on to Walmart and I'll catch y'all in the store. Because it's cold, cold out like there. When I say it's cold, cold, it's cold, cold. Like that rain is not playing, y'all. It's not playing. So, I just came from inside of Walmart. I didn't vlog because I wanted her to get up out of there, which I really didn't get much, but it was $102. 
and I got the stuff that I needed. <laughs> I didn't even get anything that I wanted. I just got the stuff that I needed. It was $102. Cause why? But I thank the Lord to be able to afford to get it. Cause all I have to say, so. It's 11.05. Kevin goes on break like around about 11.30. I'm wondering should I pop up and surprise him on lunch? I think I might do that. I think I might get some Chick-fil-A and come by and spend time with him and then come home and prep my salmon and stuff. That's what, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I barely get a chance to spend time with him on his break. So I'm gonna do this um, mobile order for Chick-fil-A and then head up there to spend time with him. So I'll be catching y'all get back to the house. All right, so I have made it back home. I have about 30 minutes before I head out to go pick up. Well, I won't say 30 minutes, probably like 20 minutes before I head out to go get Kylie uh, for her appointment. I want to do a mini Walmart haul. Y'all I'm tired. I, took them, I brought you bags in. But before I get into the haul, I, ha I have never, I have never heard a dog on repeat. I'm just like, Tiffany, what you talking about? When I got here, like, it didn't hit me until later after I got done using the, the bathroom and everything. I'm like, why is that dog is on repeat he, the whole time? About a good three. <laughs> three. A good three minutes. <laughs> the same way. This. On time. Like, you're not tired? You're not tired? Oh, yeah, my thing is moving. But you're not tired? Oh, my gosh. This thing is moving. Up. Anyway, it's going to move down. Good thing I uh, purchased a new tripod from TikTok. I ordered from the TikTok shop, y'all. This is like my second? No, my third time, because first two times I ordered an unbrush, because my first, the first unbrush I got was a dupe, and that snapped, and I got the regular unbrush. And now I ordered a, um, a tripod with the double ring lights on it. I got a pink one for me and a black one for Kevin. So soon later, I'm going to end up toasting this one because it won't stay up and keep going down. Anyway, let's do this mini Walmart house so we can get your head out and go get your knees because we got to go to the eye doctor today. All right, first thing I got is some paper plates. Y'all remember I had said I wanted some paper plates because the dishes are not dishes because my niece, like, she can't keep up with these dishes because, baby, it's a heavy, it's a, which I understand because it's a, it's a heavy load in here. It's, it's seven people. And they're constantly eating. Five of them constantly eating. <laughs> Let me say that again. It's seven people in here. But five of them constantly eating. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Now we got some OxyClean. This is the one that I use. I would use the purple label one. Because they got a blue label, I think, in a purple label. And I would use the extra one. The older blaster. The older and stain remover. And it smells so good. I love this one. I love that smell. I love that one. Alright. Next thing I have here... Uh, or some forks and some spoons because <sighs> um, the silverware be silverware. Also, I started to go back, I started going back to dryer sheets. Even though I still use my, I'm still gonna use my dry bar to help dry the stuff faster, but I wanted some dryer sheets to give my laundry an extra oomph in it. Oh, that smells so good. Um, I also use. The cotton, yeah, this is the cotton fresh. Yeah, the cool cotton. This is my favorite one besides the unstoppable one. But that's this one, and then I have the scent beads in it. And that scent. And I also use the um fabric softener in that scent. Because I love that fresh, clean, wash smell. And that's the smell that it gives. That's my shirt smell like now. Because I put my shirt on today, I said, oh, my shirt smells so good. And I, it's not high cool now. My perfume and Haku for um, Avon. That's my only perfume for Avon that I actually like is Haku. I don't know why, but I do. It smells good. It smells clean. It smells fresh. All right, as far as lasagna items, my first thing I got is uh, some Frigo, Frigo shredded Parmesan cheese because it calls for Parmesan cheese. Um, I have some ground beef. I have two things of Italian sausage. Now I don't I don't know why I picked up too. I don't know if I need them more, but I like the sausage to take this out my um lasagna. This here is the sweet ground one um by Great Value. And this one is the Italian mild sausage from Johnsonville. 
Um, have some ricotta cheese. Because you know you need the ricotta cheese for the lasagna. Okay. And I also have the tomatoes for my salad. Um, I have here uh, two packs of mozzarella cheese. And I have two containers of tomato paste. I don't have to buy the, uh, the pasta sauce because I have like eight jars of pasta sauce. I can just pull that up out of there. And also the last thing I got is some butter. So that's pretty much my little Walmart haul for today and everything. So I'm going to get this stuff put up so I can get ready to go get your niece Kylie. So I know she's waiting because I told her I'd be at her at 1. I'm going to drive to America, which is like 30, 35 minutes away from here. And I can be there on time and a little bit early because some reason have to always sign all this kind of picking paperwork and stuff so yeah so let me put this stuff up um i might catch y'all when i get back home because i'm gonna be trying to get there and back to get ashton and get my niece my niece but bianca and kamora and jordan off the bus from after school so yeah i'll be pretty busy so i'll be catching y'all when i get back home all right, so I'm back home. As you can see, I have my apron on. <laughs> now, apron on. That means we're about to do something in this kitchen. Um, I forgot that we have to go to Dairy Queen tonight because it's spirit night for college grade. So we got to be there at 5. But I want to get there probably like at 5 35, 45 because the older kids are at school. So, um, with that being said, I'm about to prep for my lasagna and I'm about to um slice up my salmon but before I do that I want to show y'all some kitchen items that I had purchased because um when I was talking to my husband about letting go of the job and everything he was like okay that's fine he said well what do I need to do to make sure you're comfortable here at home and stuff this and that and third and he was so supportive y'all I, I just love my husband but anyway uh, I needed some more uh, kitchen items like some more baking pans and baking sheets and stuff like that and um so and he has some other plans that he want to do too as well um but i'm letting him do it on his own time but um i had to get some i needed some more baking pans because um if you have been following me on instagram y'all know i had started making homemade biscuits from scratch something i have never done so that's what i've been doing lately and plus i i got brownie mixed so i just been wanting to be do all things home and so um with that being said i'll show y'all a few things that i purchased from ollie's from ollie's if you don't have any kind of kitchenware set not kitchenware but like kitchen utensil bowls bakeware go to ollie's it's cheaper okay so the first thing i want to show you show you is these two ginormous bowls these here I got these for at least they was $9.99 a piece see how big these things are things are huge they are huge right and they were $9.99 a piece so I want to get that for like when I get ready to season my meats and stuff like that I don't I have a small bowl but I don't have anything big enough to season it so I need two of these so I got two of these um <clears throat> um, I also needed some baking sheets because I did not have any baking sheets when it came down to making the biscuits. I had to borrow my brother. So I have a couple of baking sheets here. I had got a two-pack. Kevin used these last night um, when he made miniature pizzas. But I got two baking sheets. This came in a pack together. And I want to say this pack together was like $7.99 for both of these. Uh, for that. Don't you fall. Don't you fall. Let me put you down here. Uh, all right. The next thing I got this long baking sheet here. And I think I want to say, I want to say that this was $7.99. I want to say. I can't remember, but that's that one. It's a little bigger than the other one. Um, the next one I have is this. What is this? A uh, cookie pan? The kind of deep one, like this is dark. This one still has a price tag on it, so it's four ninety nine. So it did the problem. That was a problem three ninety nine instead. So I don't, I can't remember the price, but they was they was no more than five dollars. I put it away. I don't know where you get seven ninety nine from, but they were no more than five dollars. So that's this pan here, and the next three I'm about to show y'all. The smaller one was like three ninety nine, and the other two big ones were like four ninety nine. So I got me some glass dishes. 
Now they still got the glue at the bottom. All they did just pull the paper out. So they still got glue at the bottom. They got to wash them. But it's this one first. I'm a small miniature one. This is cute, isn't it? I needed some more glass dishes and I found them at Ollie's. And that's that one. Then the next one is this one. It's cute, isn't it? Love it. I love that one. All right, and my last glass dish is this cute oval one. I love this one, y'all. Look at this. Isn't it cute? I still got glue at the bottom. I got to clean it out. I just came, just put it up there or whatever. I just took the paper out. I didn't ever wash it out, so I'm washing it out before I use it. And then the last thing I got, I did not get this from Olive's. I got it from Walmart because the one I wanted for Olive was sold out. I'm so upset. I should have got it then. I don't know why I be looking at stuff and then walk off and don't get it. So, what I got from Walmart is a jumbo roaster. I wanted a jumbo roaster so bad. So, what, cause you know, we got a bigger family. And when I bake chicken and stuff, I want something deep like this to cook it in. With my potatoes and stuff like that. Like, we got this turkey here. Yes, we got the tomato. I mean, the potatoes and stuff on that. Y'all see that? And I want to say this was twelve ninety nine from Walmart. However, the one at Olives that I wanted, it was more of a texture bottom it was thick at the bottom and it had like little texture diamonds or whatever i liked that it was beautiful i love it but when i went back and go get it it was gone so yes that are that's all that's all of the dishes that i had purchased so i want to show y'all that so if you do not have any dishes or any type of appliances and, stuff like that, and you want to go the cheaper route go to ours okay my hair started to come down go to all these okay all right, let me put these up, and then we're going to start prepping our dinner. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to try to get this hair up again because it just came. It was coming down. I'm using this alligator clip, so I can't find my other clip, but I feel like the alligator clip will hold it up better because I can go through the wig somehow like I did earlier. I don't know how I did it, but anyway, it's up there. It's up there. It's up there. So now... Before I do my prep for my lasagna, I'm gonna cut up my sandwich. Because Kylie's has been waiting on it for the long longest. So you know what I'm the sandwich. Ain't you Kylie? Yeah. I'm not gonna cook it now though. But here's the salmon. It was $19.15 since the Atlantic. Atlantic. Sam, this is the only Sam I really I don't really like pink Sam fillets. I like the Atlantic Sam. Baby, um, can you give me that one? That little cooking board, uh, that granite one, that great looking one, please. We just came back. Kinda got her eyes dilated. Sorry, got a phone call away. Um, like I said, I like the Atlantic salmon better than the pink salmon. It just tastes better or whatever. Kylie, say hey. She's sleepy, y'all. She fell asleep on the way home. Hi. You still sleeping? Just don't want to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. She said my face is blurry. Her eyes are dilated. I'm going to have a seat for me. Or you better ran into something. <laughs> but um, I'm going to use this cutting board for the first time that I got from Home Goods. Uh, if you caught me, when it was, I don't know what vlog that was. Me and Kevin were at Home Goods or whatever. That's why I got this as a well as another, um, another cutting board. So let me get my knife. I never purchased one of these type of salmon from, um, I can say Ollie, from Aldi. I don't know how to open the pack. Hmm. I guess you got to open the lid. Let me see. Oh, okay, I see that. Oh, you got it. It's a little plastic seal on top. You know I smell everything. Okay. Why do you smell everything? Mm -hmm. It's, it's cold. It's like Here it is. It's like. Here it is. I just poked a whole hole in it. Y'all know salmon is very delicate, so you have to be careful with it because baby, it will fall apart. All right. Now I'm going to try to cut these and mm, I want to say one inch. I don't know my measurements for real. I'm just going to cut with my shine and I tell them to stop. All right, so that's one piece. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm cutting by. 
this thick. I keep poking a hole in it, I gotta stop. So yeah, cutting about that thick. And Kylie's excited because she wants some anyway. She wants some. Now I did not know that the back part is that. What's color? All right, cut another piece. I think I can get about a good six, well, maybe eight pieces out of here. Okay, we on piece number three. And this piece number four. Four, five. Six. I'm gonna have eight out of it. We got seven and eight, which is pretty much at the end. So we're gonna cut that in half. <laughs> mm, half eight. All right, so there is my salmon all cut up. Here it is. All cut up. I managed I'm to get scared. eight. Huh? I'm scared to go fall off. Oh, let me fall off. So I managed to get eight pieces out of one whole. Oh salmon filet because i think you pay like 20 dollars at walmart maybe 15 for about like four slices but for 20 i got eight so there you have it so let me back this up and then we'll be prepping for our lasagna so everything is cut up i put everything in individual bags inside of a freezer bag so they'll be going in the freezer maybe i can put in the freezer right here I'll put it right here now I'm about to cut up all my veggies for my lasagna. Have a new knife. Also, my other new cutting board I have not used. This is my first time ever using it. The one I got from on, um, I can say bit like y'all. <laughs> the one I got from on um, Home Goods, right along with that other one. And Lord, please be with my eyes when I cut this onion. They say don't cut the butter of the onion, but I don't know. I'm so used to doing it. And I got some Italian parsley here. That I purchased from um Aldi. This stuff smells loud once you cut it. But it's so good. It's so good. I also have some green onions. And I have some bell pepper. I'm trying to mix. I'm trying to mix everything into it so the kids really won't taste it for real. Because they'll pick out all this stuff. And I don't want them doing all that. So I'm about to cut up onion and stuff. So the good thing about it, everything's about to be prepped for dinner and the one good thing that I, I like about staying home being a staying home mom staying home wife or whomever you want to call it um the fact that you can prep and get all your stuff together you know instead of trying to rush through the day and trying to figure out how to um plan this and plan that but you but not saying that you can't do it while you work however i can't do it while I work. and i feel like i'll be more focused at home and i gotta try to mix up these freaking onions mix up these onions i need my bigger knife lord be with my eyes i'm gonna mix these things up about to get real. It's already getting real. My eyes are already trying to water. Oh my gosh. They say you chew gum, it'll, it'll, it'll help it out. But I don't know. I need my bigger knife. Hold on. Yeah, this 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 the one I need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Juice flying everywhere, y'all. Mix these onions. I never thought I'd get so good with a knife. But here I am. I don't know what actually we can do, but maybe that thing is noisy. Oh, here go to the, the waterworks. We almost to the end of 
Can you chop it? Oh, the juice flat on my lip. Oh, it's getting tiny. I got one good high level. We're gonna make it work. Maybe watch this cutting board. Oh, you got tears. I think I missed it pretty good though. Okay, okay. Okay. Blind. That's how you make it. You do what you do. You can do with the eye closed. Because, baby, the onion just is killing it. And that's the feel with where you're going. That's the one thing, buddy. Alright. Hold on. Alright. I'm crying happy tears. And here we are with our minced onions. Here we go. My mixed onions. Now, we're putting in this bowl so I can wash out this cutting board because if I don't, I'm going to keep crying. Okay? Now, there's no guarantee that I'm going to use all these onions. I might just put it up for later and stuff. However, I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. Alright, so let's put a cap on these. All right, we got that closed. Now let's clean off this this board before I start crying again. Get the rest of the things off the stove. All right. All right, let's go clean off this board. We are back with a clean slate. No more tears to cry. <laughs> All right, now let's do one bell pepper. We're gonna mix those. My dip is we ain't gonna rip like this. We got like crying in that one. And then my big knife photo. Alright, let's get the bell pepper. Take the sides off. Because I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do my reel in the view of like how tasty those are. So I'm trying to do it in the view the way they have it. Like overhead, I haven't I haven't done that in a minute. So that's that's my um vision as far as the real video for my real for the lasagna. I don't know if y'all need to watch the taste of video. Do they even still make videos? Do taste still make videos? I haven't done a cooking reel on my Instagram and stuff in a long time. My friends on Facebook, they love when I do my cooking videos. So. This is my teacher friends, so this is my treat to them <laughs> on doing the lasagna. They love to watch my videos. So, I want to treat them to doing that. That's why I'm stuck in my, I'm stuck in my spirit real heavy, y'all. That means something big is gonna happen, y'all. Cause that's why I've been stuck on me since the um beginning of the year, and I say it all day, all day, all, every day. I even put it as a status on my Facebook. did a TikTok day on my own second TikTok. Alright. Alright, get my garlic out. I forgot to get. I forgot to get my garlic out. I'll give it just a minute. And I used to get mixed garlic, but I'd rather just do fresh garlic. I'd rather just do everything fresh. I'd rather mix my onions fresh. I'd rather mix my best up everything fresh. And it just 
it's more healthy. All right, now I'm gonna put this in our bowl. on this and there's the bell pepper now we have the onions and the bell pepper now let's do the um garlic we'll do the garlic here. the garlic out break it open baby It's loud in your ear. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna use, use about five of these bulbs and mix them up. Going to mix the bulb up for it's not like Kyla went to sleep, y'all. I hear her snoring. I knew her tail was sleeping. But you know I gotta get there. Um, when Kevin gets off, cause he got to meet me at the um thing. But on the way home, I'm asking him to stop by the store and get some melatonin. Cause for some reason, I don't know if it's just me. these kids here, my kids and my niece and nephew, or anybody else's kids, but for some reason, these jokers ain't even wanna go to sleep at night. They wanna stay up. Like, what is going on? They still up in there. They be in there conversating. About God knows what. Like, take your tail to bed. Then you come home out of school and, and drop. Because you've been trying to be a real soldier all day. See, mixing garlic is a little bit easier because you can just start off the wind and just start chopping. And they'll mix this nice. And you really don't need much garlic because garlic is kind of potent. It was, I mean, it was just a little bit. It would just take the flavor of everything. I think I have a little glass container for this one. Alright, so that's the garlic. I mean, it's just, it's just a little bit, like five little cloves of that. I'm put inside a container. I put inside this small pirate bottle. Not bottle, but you know, cook, bowl, whatever it's called. Right. So, got that. And that's the garlic. Um, get my trash from up here. I got like. Five more bowls I haven't used here. I put them up. This trash I can get ready to put up our green onion and our parsley. All right, now let's just start our green onion. I'm not gonna take many minute to do this. Just do by three. I think I'm gonna put the green onions and the parsley in the same bowl. Parsley, that parsley smells loud. I mean, it is loud. No, 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 no. I probably put parsley by itself to garnish. So uh, I'm putting in a separate thing. I just thought about it because this might be for garnish. And the parsley might be for garnish. So I'm just going to put them in a separate bowl. Now, the last thing I have to chop up is our Italian parsley. Maybe you don't smell anything now. Nah. But just as soon as I cut this choker. Ooh. Loud. Ooh. It's this 
potent, y'all. Parsley all chopped up. Parsley. All right, now we'll put these inside the container. Let's put it in this container here. Fala, 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 Now it's time for me to clean up my area. So all of my ingredients, all my veggies and stuff that I need for my lasagna is all prepped and ready to go. That will make that will make the um real process, uh, the process of the recording everything go a whole lot faster. So if you want to do like cooking reels, make sure all your stuff is prepped. Now some some. Um, videos that I do, I like to do the cutting because a lot of people like to see me, like to see my nice skills on the video. But due to the fact this is a more tedious like recipe, I just rather go ahead and have it all done and stuff like that. So let me clean up my area and get me some coffee. Get some coffee. But I will come back because I'm not gonna pick up the camera again until after I get back from the spirit night, so I can show y'all. Um, what everything looks like. So, y'all hang tight, and I'll be back with the finished product. All right, y'all. So I am back home, and the lasagna is done. The lasagna is done. So I'm so ready to show y'all. It is so beautiful, y'all. It's so beautiful. I want to show y'all this before I get ready to cut it for my reel. So let me show y'all the lasagna. Isn't she lovely? Yes, it looks nice. We're talking about beautiful golden brown yas. Love it. All right, so I'm about to get ready to end off this vlog. Get ready to feed everybody. So they get ready to go to bed because they got school tomorrow and we got them little Tony y'all. Cause they going to bed tonight. Okay, okay. So anyway, like I said, if you're the first time coming to see me, hello, welcome. Hope you love it here. Make sure you smack the subscribe button. Also like this video. Do not forget to share it. Also press the notification bell so you know if I have new upload. And my family who came out to see me again. Thank you so much for coming to see me again. Make sure you subscribe and get to 500. Hope 500. Hope we'll be at 500 by the time this video come out. All right? All right. Until next time, y'all. Know that I love y'all and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Is in Thailand.